Tennis is a family game, with young and old coming together to enjoy the sport. This is showcased perfectly in the brand new tournament for May, the Open Parc Auvergne Rhone Alpes in Lyon, staged in an idyllic setting. We are in the middle of Le Parc de la Tête d'Or, which is one of the best parks in, in France. The location is, is super nice. You are just in the, in the park with the trees around and uh, yeah, it's completely different and it's quite relaxing and I like it. It's great, you know, people is coming with the whole family, uh, with kids, uh, they come, they watch tennis. I got told from Joe that it's a really nice place and she can't play, so you know, he's a good friend of mine, so I obviously entered and you know, was looking forward to it. Fantastic city, I've never been here before. I'm enjoying a lot uh, walking around the street. I, I love this park. I, I think we, we will have a great tennis this week. For the home fans, there was plenty of talent, including Joe Wilfred Songa, hoping to continue his fine 2017. And next gen star, Quentin Alice, climbing up the Emirates ATP Race to Milan rankings. For these compatriots, respect is mutual. Joe is very nice with me and with all of the young French players, so for us it's good inspiration. He's playing well, uh, he's powerful, he's a tall guy, uh, intelligent, and uh, I'm sure he's going to continue to 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 progress and, uh, and he's going to be a, a better player in the next few years. There were more than local heroes in Lyon. A stunning field at this ATP 250 featured three of the top 20 and some next-gen stars. This is not an easy tournament for, for me and for the rest of the players. Those are top guys. Um, obviously, Milos has been playing great, Del Potro, guys like this that are here. It's, it's going to be a tough week and it's a strong field. Making a return to tennis was the young Australian, Tanasi Kokonakis. Injured for the last 18 months, he was eager to return to action and to restart his journey back to his best. I missed the buzz for sure. Being on the practice court for so long and then finally playing a match, I felt so different, I felt so open. Something I haven't felt in a while. I've got some niggles uh, for sure, but uh, feeling a few things from yesterday. I was trying to get my mind mentally through it, so I was trying not to worry about my body while I was playing. So I guess the more matches I play, these little things I've got to overcome. But um, yeah, I've just got to continue to practice and get better and hopefully get more matches as well. Kokonakis was not the only one with a positive outlook in Lyon. France's own Gilles Simon made the most of his time with some delighted fans. We had a few kids from different schools uh, all around in Lyon. Uh, some of them are playing tennis, some of them never heard about a, a, a tennis player. And this morning was the chance to, to discuss a bit with them, have a little chat, uh, because they had a few questions, like simple one, when do you start? Why do you want to play? Uh, why tennis and not something else? And I think it was like, pretty interesting to, to talk with them and uh, yeah, just to, to give them something from the, from the inside before they, they go on the court. With new fans being inspired and a special tennis atmosphere, the players were hoping to maintain the happy vibe on court. None more so than home hope and recent father, Joe Wilfred Songa looking to make his family proud. Everything is okay. I just take a lot of pleasure, you know, to be with my kids and, and my wife. We live a moment of happiness and that's the most important. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, all eyes on Paris. We have a special report from week one of the French Open. And coaching the best, we speak to one of Andy Murray's main men, Jamie Delgado. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.